Hello, YouTube. This is a response to Twish's love contest. And now I can tell you a story about my own life. I thought I'd tell you a story about my auntie. She was married the first time during, or maybe shortly after World War II. She had been volunteering at an, um, oh, what were those clubs? FOA. Oh, something, I don't know. Um, one of those clubs where sailors came to dance because she liked to dance. So she would go and dance with them and whatever. Um, a young man came in and, and they met and they danced. And I guess he asked her out for another time or he, they met at the club again or whatever. USO, that's the word. And um, then he was sent out to sea, and they carried on a relationship by pen pals. And everybody talks about how weird it is to date people you meet online, but really that's just a modern form of pen pal. And <clears throat> when he got out of the Navy, they married and immediately moved to Kansas City. She was from the West Coast at that time from Washington and all the way out to Kansas City with this man who's basically a stranger and they were married for a really long time and then when that ended she taught school in Europe for the army which is another story and a really great one and one time when she was home to Kansas City she was with some of her first husband's cousins and they introduced her to a nice man and guess what she's back to work in Italy and she and Lawrence communicated by snail mail and he proposed by snail mail and sent her her ring both of them sent her their her engagement ring by US mail and um, she married him and she decided that time to meet him. She came home, arranged for all her furniture to come home to a little town in the desert of California. And she arranged to meet him in Las Vegas, Nevada. And she waited there for him, and he didn't show up. Well, it turned out his car was broken down in the desert. And he was having conniptions trying to get his car fixed. This is back in the days of no cell phones and a lot less traffic. And eventually he got his car running and he showed up and she must have just been fit to be tied. And they got married and they lived together 36 years until he died. And I just wanted to tell that, that those two stories because I just think they speak to the testimony of or the validity of having a relationship where you've gotten to know one another at a distance and how well you can get to know one another when you're not in person. I don't know. I think that's a really nice love story. Thanks, Trish. Great contest.